effects and presets, allowing you to create stunning visual effects for your videos. This includes anything from advanced particle simulations to green screen removal, motion graphics for cinematic titles, procedural effects like muzzle flashes, futuristic heads-up displays, and even importing 3D models. Let's take a look at the new features available in the Vegas FX release. The new auto stabilizer effect is a very quick and very easy way to reduce the camera shake in your footage. It's really as simple as drag and drop. Vegas FX will analyze the clip in the background, so you could continue working elsewhere if you wanted to. It'll pick and choose multiple points in your video to track, intelligently ignoring the ones that are independently moving or out of focus. Once the track is finished, you can see these points on screen represented by the green and red X's. If you want, you can add or remove points for a more accurate track and stabilization. This is done just by circling the points you want to change right here in the viewer. I'll do that now because, in the case of this video, the scrolling that is happening on the laptop screen is confusing the track. As you can see, the stabilization has taken place. If I select the clip and come over to the controls panel, I have options for the crop window, which is how much the video is allowed to scale in order to be stabilized. A lower number will be more stable, but more zoomed in. There is also a slider for the smoothness, which you can turn down if you're wanting to keep some of the shake for a more natural result. Motion tracking inside of Vegas FX is now easier than ever before. Let's say we have this picture and we want to place it into the frame here. The camera is shaking, which means it needs to be motion tracked. With the picture in the timeline, you can add the motion track effect to it, then select the video as the thing to be tracked. Vegas FX will analyze the clip and then ask you which specific part of the video you want to track. Circle the area, then the layer will be attached to that point. You can still move the layer if you need to adjust its position. The new crop, pan, and zoom effect allows you to easily zero in on a specific area of your video. This is useful for drawing your audience's attention to a section of the screen, or cropping out unwanted information. Let's start with the crop function. When you add the effect onto the video, you'll get a white box showing how the final result will be composed. You can resize it by clicking and dragging the corner handles or edges. By default, it'll keep the aspect ratio of the timeline. You can change this in the controls. You can use the ratio of the original video, but there are also a couple of common presets. You can also choose to define your own custom aspect ratio as well. You can view the final result by clicking off of the effect, and go back into it by selecting the effect in the controls. The auto zoom checkmark determines whether or not the cropped image fills up the original frame. Here's what it looks like with the auto zoom turned off. You can see that the image only takes up a small space inside its boundaries. And here's with the auto zoom on. The image now fills up the layer's region. You can use the pan function to create a Ken Burn style effect. This is useful for both pictures and videos. Similar to the crop function, you now have two windows that you can place. The first represents where the image will be at the beginning of the clip, and the second represents where it'll be at the end. Vegas effects will automatically keyframe between these two points during the duration of the layer. A new color adjustment effect makes it super easy to correct specific colors in your scene. You can either select which color you want to affect manually by adjusting the box here, or you can use the color picker to choose one from your scene. A slider for softness helps make the blend between the selection more gradual. There are even options to protect specific color ranges to avoid getting weird results once you start changing things. Once you have the color selected, you can either shift the hue or replace it completely. For the Hue Replace option, you have a slider for Strength that determines how much the color is swapped with the new one. The GoPro FX Reframe effect allows you to make adjustments to your 360 photos and videos. You have control over the Pan, Tilt, Rotation, Lens Correction, and Zoom. These can all be keyframed as well to help you keep the action front and center. Improvements have been made to the way Vegas FX handles importing image sequences. Instead of only being able to select the folder the images are in, you can now select individual frames or a subset of a sequence. Wave Export allows you to output a lightweight, audio-only file type. Useful if you need to bring some voiceover audio into another software for mixing, or you've edited a song and don't need to show any video in the final product. You can now add as many colored outlines to your titles as you like in the text panel. Just click the plus and a new outline will be added. Each outline has its own thickness and color values for you to customize. Masking and creating shapes for motion graphics inside of Vegas FX is now even more powerful. In the mask drop-down here, you can see that we've added three new types. 
rounded rectangle, polygon, and star. Each of these mask types has additional options that will appear when you begin drawing the shape. So for example, the star shape has controls for how many points the mask has, the ratio, which is how collapsed the shape appears to be, as well as sliders for the roundness of the edges. By playing around with these controls, you'll be able to achieve a wide variety of interesting shapes to use for motion graphics, callout animations, or to create transitions between two videos.